Lieutenant Commander Zach Drum, call sign Plattles, uh, with the VFA 106 Rhino demo team. We are a uh, unit on the east coast of the United States. We're based at Naval Air Station Oceana, Virginia, in Virginia Beach. Our mission is to train the next generation of strike fighter aircrew, specifically employing a VFA 106, a Super Hornet aircraft. So these aircraft, Monday through Friday, are used to train students. And then on some of the weekends during the year, we get the fortunate opportunity to take them on the road and participate in air shows all around the country, specifically with the TAC demo a performance profile, which you're gonna see today. I love coming to an air show like this because you get to talk to other pilots who are very familiar and they get to ask a lot of really awesome questions that a lot of other people don't, but it is really, uh, really awesome to be able to come and kind of see that spectrum of people who know nothing about an aviation and people who probably know more about this airplane than I do ask me some questions. So that's uh, truly one of the great parts of this job. Growing up, uh, I actually didn't have too much exposure to uh, civilian aviation. It was always uh, something that I wanted to do, but just you know, wasn't in the cards uh, for me. I know a lot of my coworkers, they grew up like really heavy into general aviation. So for anybody out there that's listening and maybe wants to do what I did, don't think that you have to be involved in general aviation to uh, get to fly one of these one day. It's certainly not a pre-requirement. However, the guys that do fly general aviation, I think they certainly have uh, more of an appreciation for what we get to do every day. The beginning of all uh, naval aviators, they go through aviation pre-flight indoctrination, which is at Naval Air Station Pensacola in Florida. From there, everyone moves on to fly the T-6B Texan II. After that, I went to uh, fly the T-45C Goshawk. You get about 150, 160 or so hours in that airplane for uh, culminating with 10 arrested landings on a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. After that, you earn your wings of gold. So after that, you arrive ready to fly this with roughly 220 to 250 hours before you start learning the specifics of how to employ this weapon system because it is first and foremost a weapon. And now I'm back as an instructor at the same squadron that I was a student at earlier. One of the opportunities as an instructor now is to fly the Rhino demo profile or the TAC demonstration profile. We are first and foremost military officers, so our job is to support and defend the Constitution and more specifically to lead uh, sailors in the United States Navy into combat. So I'm really proud of what I get to do and I love my job. And one of the epic things we get to do is bring this thing on the road and showcase the combat fighting uh, capability of our United States Navy. We get to come here to air shows. We get to show you uh, all the maneuvers that you're going to see uh, today are maneuvers and based off maneuvers that we would do in combat, but we get to uh, do that really low and really fast for the crowd and kind of inspire the next generation of air crew to hopefully be here uh, standing where I'm at today talking to you.